Hey guys, Matt from soundrolling.com. Thought I'd do a video about how, firstly, you're going to export an AAF, just quickly, in Pro Tools, and then how we're going to import that into your Premiere Pro um, session. And you're going to be able to see all these individual files, just like in uh, Pro Tools, where they're all nicely separated. Um, so, uh, I'm only going to be using a, a portion of this as an example of the AAF. I'm only going to be using the voiceover. Um, you'll notice at the very start I have this uh, random file that I've put in. Uh, you need some form of uh, like active sound file uh, because an AAF is only going to pick up uh, uh, tracks that are active in terms of audio. It's going to ignore all the muted ones. Um, and so to give you a, re um, a sync point that you can actually work with, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, just puts a little bit of audio at the very start. Usually there's an actual physical countdown on the um, on the video file that you get, going like 3, 2, 1, and then there's a flash screen. Oh look, it's crashed. Don't you just love when Pro Tools crashes? Um, so, but I can still explain. So while you, um, yeah, so you need that sync point to be able to make everything work. Let me go to opening recent session. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Maybe it'll take a while. That's the way things go. Uh, but I have actually already exported uh, the little demo version. So I just did the VO files. So you just go to export, and you just make sure your handle length is whatever you want it to do. And the handle length is, if you want to be able to stretch the clip more in Premiere Pro, you're going to need handles. You're going to need uh, the whatever audio file is on either end. So it's usually milliseconds, so 1,000 milliseconds is one second each side that you can pull. Um, so just take that into consideration. With obviously a full feature-length film project, it's, uh, it's going to take a, quite a while if you have a massive amount of stuff. Um, and this is roughly what it's going to look like in the very end. Um, so essentially how I achieved this uh, is I can just import this again, make a new bin, call it AAF, or whatever your AAF is going to be, open that up. You're going to find where your AAF is. I exported it, and so I called it AAF Vic Test. I'm going to drag that in. It's going to also drag all these other files in for you, as you'll see. Don't worry about this error. This error comes up and gives you like a progress report on whatever was uh, put across. So in this case, apparently track one, there was something at plus six. So it, got, it was above plus six, so it got capped at plus six. Um, and that was probably just the random thing that I put at the very start of the video uh, just to sync everything up. Uh, and then you can see here that this blue icon with the kind of lines means it's a sequence. So you can actually just double click and there you go, you have your sequence with your AAF. Uh, and so then, for instance, I've got the movie sequence here, so imagine that I actually like edited this into lots of different clips. What you would then do is you would then basically merge two sequences together. So you would, I don't know, maybe you can just copy and paste. It's probably that easy, maybe. Yeah, copy and paste. Obviously not over uh, where your um, not over where your dialogue is. I don't even know how to add a track in Premiere Pro, but I know how to import an AAF, which is pretty good. So I'm sure lots of you actually know what the hell you're doing. Uh, I do not completely, but anyway, it's basically good that you have all of this. Add tracks, there we go. Uh, add, add two tracks after video one. Oh, that's two video tracks after. So before the first track, I can add one audio track, and then I can do that, and then I can press space, and hopefully this should roughly line up. Um, Remember when you woke up and your passport and credit cards were gone from the bed? Yeah, that was us. So I yeah, mean, and that perfectly syncs. So that was that was all in time as well. Um, so yeah, that's how you import it. Hope that made sense. Again, I got a bit messed up towards the end. Um, and obviously Pro Tools completely crashed on me. I mean, maybe it's come back to life now. Um, so we can go full circle and uh, wing all the way around. It's even connected in old video, which is not very useful. Um, so just make sure that when you're exporting, um, it, it should export the full 
full amount, including this space, but if you're worried, you can just add an active audio file. Ah, because I'm trying to take it from this muted one. And we just unmute it, stick it at the start. That's going to be a rough sync one, just to make sure that there's something lined up beforehand, so you know the start of the frame of the video can go with the start of the audio. And then, no matter how many tracks you put in, it'll obviously add them all up. Uh, you can do the same thing if you want with the very end of the video. So if you put in another little audio clip right at the end, then that will uh, keep your AAF the same length as your video file, uh, which is always reassuring to see. If you see a video, if you see audio tracks that are shorter than the rest of the film, uh, it can get a bit worrying. Um, so that's my video for today. Hope you found that useful. You can obviously give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more useful stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know if it works. I mean, it worked for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. So, until next time, see you later.